What's up guys, it's Eventon here. So wanted to make this video real quick uh, about the Orca. This is honestly my favorite ship in the game. It could just do so many different things when it pertains to, to hauling. People used it for soloing like emerging conduits back in the day. Um, you can obviously use it for solo mining, fleet mining. You can even do some support uh, with the shield bursts, things like that. Um, I even see some people do some like PVP suspect baiting uh, out by like the Judah dock and they can do some pretty impressive stuff. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is because of the mineral distribution update that's going to happen uh, really, really soon. It's right around the corner. Um, I did see a lot of forums and actually in talking in stations, I've been watching quite a bit of it. Um, some people have been bringing up the orc and how it's kind of a, a high sec juggernaut when it comes to uh, mining for the most part. And I do remember one of the um, CSM members saying something along the lines of like, oh, orcas will be dealt with. I'm not sure if he was kind of insinuating that CCP was going to come out with some nerfs or some changes to the orca, but um, me being a, a heavy orca pilot myself, um, I've used it quite a bit uh, for fleet purposes, for solo purposes, for, for hauling, all kinds of stuff, and I have some feelings of some changes that they might make to the orca that could fundamentally um, completely flip it on its head or change the, its, its typical uses uh, out here in high sec. All right, before I hop in some of the reasons why the Orca is so good right now, I'd love for you guys to jump down in the comments, put down what you guys think some of the changes are going to happen to the Orca, if any, are going to happen uh, around the time of the mineral distribution uh, update. And let me know what are some things you guys like or hate about the Orca right now, whether you love it or hate it. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So one of the things that I think obviously the Orca is really, really good at is just this sheer size and presence. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've heard of other miners that do like moon mining are really upset when they pull the rock off and then all of the sudden you see about 10 or 15 orcas come out of nowhere and just start stripping the thing down and there's not much you can do about it to be honest i mean you can you can bump them and there's still plenty of orcas around um, to kind of make up for it. and just the sheer size really limits the amount of counterplay uh, that is allowed when it comes to the orca um, especially when it comes to its sheer amount of uh of its hp which kind of leads me up to my next point uh, this thing has an absolutely massive whole HP. I think it's about 40,000. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the statistics here in a, in a little bit, but I mean, it, it's going to take you about 20 to 30 catalysts to take down even a very poorly fit orca. So it's not like if, you know, if you have an orca in your belt or doing moon mining or whatever it is, and it's annoying you, you know, you can't just get a couple ships just to take it out or teach it a lesson or anything like that. I mean, there's just not much you can do. Um, of course, there's always, you know, bumping the crap out of it with a mercurial um, I've even seen some people do it with like an Omen or some of those ships that can get like a really, really high um, top speed with like a micro warp drive and bump it. Uh, but that's still not enough. I mean, at the end of the day, um, that's still not going to stop these mass amount of orcas flying around in high sec, just gobbling everything up. And I think also the other thing too is just is, is just its uh, solo mining capability. I mean, with its, I mean, with like maxed out, almost maxed out uh, mining drone skills, which I have. Um, I'm pretty much out mining pretty much all of the T2 barges except for the coveter. I think even a T1 coveter, uh, the orca just can't match it. But the fact that, I mean, the orca is even relatively on par with a T2 barge when it comes to solo mining is pr pretty darn good. And with its huge amount of EHP, no one's going to really mess with it uh, that much. Um, the other thing, too, is that just the drone bonus as well to defend yourself. So if you do get ganked, um, even in a... In a very low system like a 0 0.5 or something like that like your drones can really pack a punch so even though it might take 30 seconds or so for concord to show up your drones are doing a lot of damage so you can even take out a, a couple ships to kind of reduce that damage or whatever it may be so orcas can definitely um, hold their own when it comes to being able to defend themselves um, in high sec for the most part so those are just a few of the things um, that are just going in their favor right now at least as it pertains to uh to mining and getting ganked and things like that Okay, so now we're going to go over, I think, in my opinion, probably the three biggest nerfs that CCP could do to the Orca right now. So I actually pulled up uh, its like statistical information just so we can kind of visualize it uh, a bit earlier. And I'll even give some reasons why I think CCP might even make these changes. So the first one, um, I think, obviously, is between like the roll bonus and even just the industrial command bonus, is they're either just going to completely they're either going to reduce or just completely remove 
the drone yield uh, bonus. So whether they're either going to just completely remove this 100% or maybe they might just remove it from the industrial command ship. It just depends on how much they want to nerf it um, for the most part. So they can either just reduce it or remove it completely, which means they can still use drones. They're just not going to have a bonus. So what this will do is pretty much free up some opportunity for like something like the Porpoise that can do some solo mining. It is a large ship. Um, but right now it's just getting bullied out by the orca because the orca can pretty much do everything the porpoise can do, um, but just much, much better. And the only thing that's really gating it off is just how expensive the orca is. So there's really no reason that if you can't afford the orca to use a porpoise um, in that sense. So I'm not sure what CCP is going to do, but um, either they're going to reduce one of these two statistics or just remove it completely. And for that reasoning, they're going to get the porpoise out there the ship is going to be much, much more vulnerable. So you're still going to be more tanky than the average, uh, you know, barge or exhumer, but it's still going to be vulnerable to get ganked, which means more ships that are getting destroyed. I think there's going to be a lot of mining ships that are going to get ganked during this distribution update. So now we're going to have less orcas out in the field, ideally, if we see this huge reduction or this complete removal of the drone mining yield. Um, the other thing that they could do too is um, significantly reduce that whole EHP. I think earlier I said it was about 45,000 HP. Um, that is a lot. Uh, it's still going to have a lot of HP between its uh, armored, sorry, its armor and, and its shield as well. So um, I think what's going to happen is there, there's going to be some sort of nerf somewhere, and I think they're going to target that um, that structure HP just because of that flat 33% um, buff across the floor. So they might actually do either a buff to the shields and hull or maybe to just the hole and just the shields. I mean, who knows? But I feel like there's going to be some sort of nerf to their overall EHP just to make them a bit more vulnerable and make people a bit more hesitant <laughs> of just throwing orcas out in kind of somewhat dangerous areas of uh, mining space. So instead of it taking, you know, 30 catalysts, now it might take 15. I'm not sure how significant this nerf will be, but I can see this is one of the things that they might do uh, to make it less frequent that people are just kind of flying orcas and just gobbling up all these asteroids, especially if you're using something like augmented mining drones that are already going to make you a target anyway. Uh, having much less HP uh, is just going to make that target much bigger. And I really hope, uh, in my personal opinion, it's going to kind of trump the first ver like reason I said earlier, and I hope they don't do this, uh, is that they're just going to completely remove the capability of orcas using mining drones. Um, I think that's going to be a very, very heavy-handed nerf, and it's not just going to—that's that—that's not just going to happen, and there's not going to be something in exchange, right? So if that happens, that's pretty much just going to make the Orca strictly a uh, like a command burst ship. So I think we will see a slight buff to the like mining foreman burst and the shield burst. Um, if that is the case, we might see some more buffs or some more like utility rolls added. Um, because that is one of the aspects of the orcas is, is that it can solo mine. But if they just completely remove the capability of it um, being able to solo mine, so that means uh, this roll bonus goes away. That means this uh, ore yield just completely goes away. This ice harvesting cycle goes away. Um, so that means everything pretty much gets taken off in its solo mining capability. I hope this doesn't happen, but I could definitely see CCP doing this because if that happens, um, a, it's just going to encourage people to, instead of taking five orcas out, now they're going to have to take one orca and four barges, which again, or exhumers, and again, those barges and exhumers are much, much more likely to be targeted than killed than four orcas or five orcas. So again, I think a lot of these nerfs are just going to come um, in order for people to kind of encourage them to fly out much more vulnerable ships for them to basically get blown up in, uh, because again, CCP wants isk and loss of ships and all that stuff to feel much much um you know make you feel much more affected by it so i think these nerfs whether they're going to either completely uh reduce or remove those drowning you know the mining drone bonuses whether they're going to reduce the overall ehp or they're just going to completely remove the, the the drone mining altogether and it's just not going to be a solo ship and it's just going to strictly be there for support which could open up the opportunity for the the uh, the mining ship, the porpoise, to have a little bit more room um, to be able to do some solo capabilities. So uh, sorry this was a bit of a rant. I know I said a lot of the same stuff again and again, but just kind of want to reiterate, this is definitely my favorite ship. I've kind of heard some rumors and people talking about some changes that might happen to the Orca because it's just such a powerhouse that uh, these are some nerfs that I could definitely see them doing um, if they were going to make any kind of nerfs to the Orca 
right now. So again, um, just want to say to you guys, thanks for watching. Honestly, I've been seeing much more subscribers coming in, people being way more active in the comments, and that literally always motivates me to make more videos for you guys. So uh, if you guys have any comments about the Orca, whether you love it or hate it, um, what are some nerfs that you could see that are coming to the Orca's way that you feel like would be significant enough to maybe open up some opportunities for people to fly other mining ships um, in the meantime? Please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.